I'm so excited for this video, guys. It was the first creation that I really documented almost all of it. But it also is like one of those proud moments that you just want to share with the world. So here I am finally putting it all together and sharing it. I don't know. I've never had the time to actually sit down and talk about it. And so we're going to talk about it. I'm going to show you guys how to create the amazing bottle cap cornhole boards. I bet I sparked your interest now, and if I haven't yet, and you are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button right down there. Watch what happens. Five, four, three, two. Aren't they amazing? Mm -hmm. Look at all these pictures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, this. this is where it all started. And when I was 18, I was a party hardy girl. Okay, I wanted to start collecting bottle caps, so I did. Um, yeah, I pretty much say enough to literally overflow this and then some. I think it was a thousand something per board. Did have to borrow five. My husband always asked me, what are you gonna do with these? They're just sitting here on top of the fridge. You don't even drink anymore. You don't even have a social life. Oh, thank you for throwing it in my face, Greg, okay? I just come up with weird ideas and then I never know what I'm doing and I totally improvise on everything. So I said, I'm going to document all of this because I've already invested a lot in just the thought process. Once I started, I still am like in shock that I did this. This was me trying to create a zero design. And yes, I went through and I counted how many of each brand because if you want it to be aesthetically pleasing, you have to do so. This is the, one of the biggest challenges for me, was making it look good with what I had, the amount I had. The uneven amount I had really was like, was really one of the bigger challenges that I faced um, because you wouldn't believe it if you walked in my house, but I am so OCD. And maybe that's why you wouldn't believe it because people think that OCD is clean and it's not. It is things that literally, like there's certain things about this project that actually I still get irritated about. I made a key on what colors, what circles meant what, and I did a circle for every single one. 1,370 circles. Then when I did it on the table, I was like trying to match it up, which I did, I think, use this design. But what I did is I put two there so I knew I had enough of each, like, for each board to match. It doesn't look bad. It looks better there, I feel like. <laughs> way through the first board um, where we poured the first layer of epoxy and I started putting them down and the time was 4 09 a.m. sounds crazy I know but it is what it is I I gotta do what I gotta do because I love what I do to kick the boys out of the room they had slept on the pull-out couch for this and we kept their room ventilated heaters on it was nuts this was when I finally finished you don't want to know what time it was. I think I slept for like 30 minutes. You can tell I'm sorry because it was all jacked up. I had to have Greg like before it was fully dry fix it some. Here's the best part. How did we get it to look so smooth and clean and beautiful? I'll tell you how. I poured, he torched. Actually, I didn't really pour, I was, I was scared to death. Like, I poured a little bit. Um, Greg did the torching for me. I did torch it a couple of times while he was gone. He doesn't know this. But we had to torch it to pop the air bubbles. And the reason that we did the um, first layer, instead of like gluing it or just setting them down and pouring it, we didn't want them to float. I wanted them to be underneath. Girl, you did good. You did good on this. 
Yeah, they were pretty amazing. Oof. Oh, baby girl. You did a good job. You did good. I'm telling myself that. Oh, there's the big smile. I loved it. Ooh, this is after staining it and painting it. This was to show you what it looked like after staining it. This, like, grayish color. I wanted it to look like the wood on my grandpa's barn. Old color. Couldn't find it, so your girl made it. I made my own stain. I had some wood conditioner. I had some other stains. I mixed, um, as well as hair dye and acrylic paint and, um, coffee. What else did I use? Sharpie. And I think Mod Podge. I created the color I wanted and it actually looked beautiful, so you're welcome for that. And my back was killing me, as were my hands. I will add in Jared's reaction, but I won't add in him reading this out loud because I made him read out. This is what his card said. And the present he got was heavy. It was some old American flag bean bags for it, you know, the toss bags. I got them on Amazon, but I, of course, had to come up with something clever for him to try and think of what it was because nobody in their family had any idea what I was doing. I know you like to enjoy a cold brew, and like you, I've had a beer or two. Some taste great, some taste like ass. No matter what, they're all better in glass. This is 18 to 27 in beers. It's hard to let go of a collection from all these years. I challenged myself. It is true. It was totally worth it. You better not lose. Hours of planning, counting, work, and pain. You better not leave this gift out in the rain. Homemade gifts from the heart. And if you don't love it, I'll tear you apart. So go ahead and open the clue, then go downstairs and see what I made you. And then I'm going to enter what happened next. Oh, oh babe. <laughs> he, what is This is a clue. This is a clue. Okay. Sorry, I just put the package from Amazon straight in there. Oh my god, I know what it is now! God bless America! Wait till you see it though! Just wait. Wait till you see it. I'm gonna take you downstairs. Endlessly. It's every bottle cap that I've collected since I was 18. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's still got like a few that we have to sand out and then Damn torch, shit. but yeah. The other one's at my house because it's still curing, but uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, you love it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's appreciate all the work I put into everyone's gifts. I hope that it helps someone who needs, you know, to learn how to do something like this. I hope it inspires. I hope that, you know, I don't know, you guys um, are impressed. I hope you guys love this video. Please give it a like if you do. Comment down below if you have any other things you would like to see that you know I've created or you would like me to explain or um, to test out creating. Use it. Please, 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 please comment below. Go to my Instagram at S-U-N-F-N-V-P, which is Sunf, and it's supposed to be short for Sunflowers and Vantage Points. Use this and you create something similar by using my video. Please, 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 please send it to me. I would love to see it. I would love to be tagged in it. And as your inspo, and always be the person you need in all situations. If I'm glad I'm here, Putin do that we'd be in a better place with me. Thank you for watching. Oh, hey, um, by the way, I'm trying to get monetized and stuff. So like that red thing down there, this starts with an S. Click it. Thanks. Bye. Fix my hair for the 1400th time. Is that all I do in my videos is just fix my hair? Like I'm just wondering. Is that all I do?